And today, a public hearing addressing rising concerns among residents in Westchester Square over the proposal of a homeless shelter. News 12's Alexa Farrell has the latest details on that project and the community's reaction. The Westchester Square community got their chance to weigh in on the new homeless shelter coming to Blondell Avenue. We're hoping to review the contract, figure out what's going to go behind us. Right now we know it's a 200 men's bed shelter, uh, but we don't know what programs are going to be offered, uh, what curfew means, what security systems are in place to protect our community. We know nothing yet. They say the tight-knit community has put in work these past years. In uplifting Westchester Square, bringing in businesses, working with residents, uh, doing what we can to protect this community, and I think a shelter would be a big setback. Sandy Lusk tells me they started hearing rumors about it coming to Westchester Square two years ago. Since then, the lot has been cleaned and they expect the $350 million project to start next year. I know it will be detrimental to the community at large. These community members say they're concerned about the impact this shelter will have on businesses, schools and overall safety. Bring a lot of children are here, so we're really concerned about their safety. This would be the nail on the coffin for these businesses if this shelter was to be in place. And despite their pleas, this group thinks the shelter is inevitable. So they're asking for high security measures to keep everyone in the neighborhood and the shelter safe. Those things will make, of course, the client safe as well as the surrounding community. The Department of Homeless Services saying in part, as of today, there are no shelters in this community district, which means there's zero shelter capacity to effectively serve and support New Yorkers who are from these communities and may experience homelessness in these communities. In Westchester Square, Alexa Farrell, News